Hi Pisces, welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Uh, Pisces is Fiskana in Swedish, and I will use a few Swedish words here and there if you wonder what I'm doing, randomly throwing out weird words uh, to describe for my Swedish audience what I'm what I'm talking about. If it's a bit of a tough word in English, um, Pisces, I will just start to shuffle as I talk. I want to say that yesterday, 10-10, 10th of October, uh, when I did the, the recordings, I just felt, I can't explain it any other way than it just felt like this huge energy wave just hit me. And uh, I felt sometimes worried. I felt happy. I felt like almost like jitterish. Jitterish? Do you say that? Um, almost like a bit spring-like uh in love feeling and then today i'm like exhausted <laughs> it's like i've been i've been really tired today and it's, it's like i try to explain to the other signs that it feels like maybe you went to a party and even though the party is really fun it's really like it doesn't matter how fun you have and how much you laugh and how you know because you stay up a bit too late, you maybe like go overboard a bit on your, on your, what you really have to work with, if that makes sense. And so the day after is like, oh man, we had fun yesterday, but I'm so tired today. Um, and that's what I feel. So it's nothing bad that happened. It's just a lot that happens and it's, it sort of is a bit draining and maybe you're feeling that too. And then we have a full moon coming up in a couple of days. So you might feel that as well too. Uh, I want to continue to talk about Scorpio season. And Scorpio season for me feels like it just starts around mid mid October, going into like mid November. That's that's what I that's what I feel is going on for you guys um, as well. And it's not not just for me. And I keep talking about it. And maybe you're sick to your wherever about it. Um, if you're new, welcome. Then you never heard me talk about it before. Uh, I just feel like there's so much happening through October, November. There's a shift happening right now. It's like an elevation of things. Stuff that doesn't work just gets tossed out and it's, just, it's focused into this. It's like this really tip of the iceberg sort of thing. It's like into focal point. Things that matter is being brought up to the light right now. And stuff that just is, you know, crap from this day and forward, it just gets dropped. So do whatever you can to drop it, if that's what it feels like. Let go of things that doesn't work anymore. Pisces, I got you a card. Uh, I'm doing three cards at the same time. It gives me a bit of a storyline to see what's going on with you. First card out is gratitude. And for newcomers, I keep getting this card. It's my Pisces card. Um, and I should explain. Because there's fish, animals, fish because it's Pisces, and animals and kids and water and just I feel like that's just telling of who you are um, and then we have dreams it can be both sleep dreams and also awake dreams like visuals visualizations and then confrontation let's see if that's what it really is or what's going on here so give me a moment to just feel into this Boo. I'm actually getting a bit of a, um, what I used to call something I would never allow. I know I'm so silly, but I would never allow to show that on camera because <laughs> I just look super crazy. I get these surges of energy and it's sort of, it's sort of, maybe if you guys have meditated sometime or maybe been in trance or like, it's just you, it just moves the body in the most fascinating ways. And it not, it's not the most flattering ways. And so I just won't show them to you. <laughs> um, yeah. So there might be things happening in your life that really feels like it's taking, not taking you over, but waking up to your own spirituality, waking up to the fact that there's more to life than just, you know, Mother Earth and this 3D version. Understanding more and more what's going on out there and that is not so much about out there but rather in here 
uh, and that's being brought to your attention right now and that might flip things around for you and so the first card out which is my Pisces card I'm so drawn to the waves on top of it today it's almost not not at all what's going on in here I'm more drawn to the up and down waves like a roller coaster so I feel like you're going through right now something that feels very up and down like like one minute you're up and the next you're down and then you're up and then you're down and then you're up and then you're down so maybe there's something in your life that really has caused this for you to feel like that for something to have happened that really you know when you think about it is like well you're up here and you think about it and you sort of drop a bit and then you get it back to a good place and you think about it and you drop or it's the what i just explained it's like this mental spiritual place where you really are evolving right now you're really coming to terms with who you truly are who you truly be um you can say that um and it's like sometimes it brings you back into the old and sometimes it releases you and it's like you're just this little puppy running around in the in a field of freedom that's what it feels like and then you're drawn into the old and it's like ah oh, you're closeted again you feel bound again you feel restricted again and then you're a little puppy out on the field like jumping up and down like in the grass and just trying to see and just feeling so excited and i don't know if that's the best metaphor ever but <laughs> i'm just trying to explain what i feel like it's just the feeling of spanking brand new excitement for the new and then what the f is going on in the old and there is this up and down and up and down and up and down and and the funny part and the paradoxical part and the humor is that it goes in waves it's waves coming and going like this and i do want to say like because you do I see this electricity coming out. It's like sparks coming out of your head. So I feel like you are thinking about a lot of stuff. Like It's really mental for you right now. You're thinking and maybe even overthinking things right now. Very much in your head space. And this, these shifts going on, it can, it can give you headaches. It can give you like a pressure on, on top of your head. And if you don't, like what I started out saying... If there's things in your life that it really is bringing you down and you know exactly what those things are. And I don't care if they're close friends, if they're family members, if there's a work-related situation, you just have to put yourself first. It doesn't mean that you have to cut people out of your life left and right. It doesn't mean that you have to quit your job. It doesn't mean that you have to move. Uh, it just means that you need to start to navigate your own vibration, which means start to Start to put yourself first. What do I need most right now? What do I need most right now? And then just follow that impulse and instinct and, and perception. What do I need most right now? Because I feel like it's an overload. Like you see how it, her head like is, it's like lightning, right? We move into what is an uh, just um, explanation and just a continuation of the first card. And that's my dreams card. And the dreams can, like I said, be in the dream state. You dream a lot right now. Maybe you're just accelerating beyond belief in your dreams. Like you're, you're making the, you're trying, trying, trying during the day. And maybe you're a bit in resistance during the day. And as you go to sleep, you just let go of all that resistance. It just lets go the minute you fall asleep. And you can make huge progress just letting go in your dream state, in your sleep state, until you wake up again. It can also be like that you're, and I, I am drawn to this more, I want to say, so take whatever applies for you. It's a general reading, so take whatever applies for you. Um, I do want to say that I'm more drawn into what you're visualizing, thinking about during the day, that there's so much going on, rather than just being in the moment. Like I'm looking at my one-year-old son, who's like, you know, he's playing with something, playing with something, and then we're about to go to the kitchen, and we have a, we have a, 
I have an understanding, he has an understanding that we're on, the, on our way to the kitchen. It does not matter if we're on our way to the kitchen because there's a shoe. Wait, like mom, here's a shoe. <laughs> we have to try this shoe on. Oh my God, this shoe is the most amazing thing that has happened to people on planet Earth. And, and so we're taking a moment with a shoe. And the kitchen, what kitchen? We've, he, he's all like forgotten about the kitchen. I don't say that you should forget about where you're going. I should just say, be a bit, even if you're on your way to the kitchen and you get to the kitchen, you're in the kitchen doing things, you're probably somewhere else in your head. Maybe you're thinking about what you're gonna do later. Maybe you're thinking about that person. You talked about the person to the person, what you're gonna say next. Where like just things, I feel like it's just a tiny bit of an overload going on in your brain. And that needs to just calm down. And it's also a lot of dream, like a lot of visualization, a lot of things, like thinking about what you want, maybe thinking about what you don't want, but there's like activity rather than, okay, I'm making food now and I'm one with me cutting this tomato up, if that makes sense. I'm somewhere else as I'm cutting my tomato. Be in on the tomato. It's all I'm saying. Be one with the shoe. Like, be more here and now. And this will calm down. Right. Confrontation actually makes sense now. And I'm, I, I am drawn to that word. It's not confrontation so much with other people. It's confrontation in your own mind. I feel like you are conflicted about something. And I feel like uh, I'm drawn to talk about relationships. I feel like maybe you're thinking about what I said that you don't need to cut people out of your life, but if, if it feels like you want, at least you want less time with somebody, it feels like you're, 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 you're stepping back from certain people. You don't want as much to do with them as you maybe recently wanted, or just as you recently assigned yourself to do only it doesn't really serve you. It doesn't really serve you. And so you want this, like it's a confrontation in your head because one side of you says, it's my mom or it's my partner or it's, you know, it's my boss or somebody you feel like you really have to stay in contact with or have to be on good terms with or have to do certain things for that maybe you don't really want to do. Um, and it sort of takes a toll on yourself. It takes you putting yourself in the back seat and, and it, it drains you a bit. And so the confrontation is... I should be there for them. I should do that. I should do what the boss says I should do. And then it's this other side that says, the hell with my boss. Like, I'm going to do what I want to do today. Or my mom can fix the stuff herself. Or like, she's getting a bit overbearing and I don't want to, oh, it's that, it's that person calling again. Should I'm not going to pick it up. I'm not going to pick it up. I'm just going to say that I'm, and then you, and then, so it's like a battle. It's a confrontation between what you have the, what you should do and what you feel like you want to do. And that is also taking a bit of a toll on your, on your brain that can give you even more pressure on your head. So there's so, there's so much forward movement in this card at the same time. It's so much going for you, going forward. And so I feel like there, you are coming into more clarity and more understanding and what you want. And this confrontation and this battle this conflict between you and you um is what's going on but it's going to calm down i feel like you're going to come to the conclusion about what you want what you're going to do or how like this is going to work out so we're going to do a card one more card here on youtube and then i'm going to go into the extended and see see where this story takes us and maybe what you can do about it Yeah, um, so here comes Archangel Raphael to just say, you're not alone in this. You might feel like you're alone battling all these things, but Archangel Raphael always comes out to say, I've got your mind and I even got your body. So whatever your mind is having as an overload, give it to Archangel Raphael right now. You can even say out loud, I'll give all my crap to the angels. I, I don't, I don't want to deal with this right now. Whatever feels like an overload, just give it away to the angels. They're happy to solve it for you. And 
whatever has taken a toll in your body like when you when you keep thinking this much when you're so much in your head rather than in your heart it is going to start to take a toll on your body maybe you feel tension i talked about a lot about the headaches um maybe a bad stomach feeling a bit worried in your solar plexus uh, whatever that has started to occur in your men um sorry in your physical body um Archangel Rafa comes in to say, I've got you. We're healing this. We're working through this. It's actually not that bad that you're thinking about the stuff that you're thinking because as you're thinking about it, it comes up to the surface. What you need to learn now is to let go of it, to let go of the stuff that is resurfacing that you don't know lo- that you don't know longer, <laughs> that you don't need anymore. Okay? If this resonates with you, if you understand completely what I'm talking about, then uh, come with me to the extended version. Uh, it's just in the link in the description box down below. Uh, or if you feel like this is perfect, this is all I needed, then thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe on your way out if you haven't. Uh, and I hope to see you back in a week. Uh, Aquarius, I just, um, uh, sorry, Aquarius, Pisces, I just want to take a moment and say, maybe next week your reading will be up not until Saturday, just so you know, maybe on Saturday. Excuse me for that. Uh, Take care, guys. Hope to see you in a week. Bye.